Well, hello, YouTubers. I'm going to try to make this video short and sweet. However, this is the first transfer of babies that somewhat developed into little tiny, teeny, tiny hornworms. Okay? Um, you basically see a bunch of eyelashes. That's what they remind me of. You will see an eyelash. If you see an eyelash, somewhere at the end of that eyelash is the tiniest, tiny. Look at that. Look at, do you see this right here? Look at this. Those look like eyelashes. Ah, there's a baby attached to that. Their, um, their horn, which is the back end, of course. Um, yeah, they, um, uh, they develop first, obviously. <laughs> it's so cute. To give you some perspective, I'm looking for something that I can show you that, well, I don't have anything, I don't have anything near me, but, um, Trust me, these are tiny. Here's my hand. Don't look at my nails. I don't, sometimes I just don't have time. Um, okay, so here's my hand. Now, let's zero in. Look at that. <laughs> now, I get creative. These right here are um, little rubber uh, bike ties, and I got them at TJ Maxx. They come in three different sizes. I use the bigger ones in any unit. My chameleon loves them. These are the smallest, and these are perfect. They can climb on those. You know, I don't have a tremendous amount of this kind of netting in my house, okay? So I clip off what I can save, and then I use, I just get creative. And these little dudes love to climb on the bicycle foamy ties. These basically are very washable. You can bend them. Again, look around your house. Make sure it's clean. Use whatever you think is going to work for you. You know, if there aren't any rules in this, you can explore everything. But get a load of this. Are you ready for this? I'm going to run you across my living room. There's my dog. Hello. All right, I'm going to run you across my living room. And guess what? I think I put a video out on this already, but oh my God. So this is the second batch. And I, yeah, I did. I put a video out on this. I'm getting ready to remove. If you remember, I took this off and and just it was easier to take this that off the bandage stuff and then put it start picking off the eggs but look at this overnight literally look what they gave me thousands more look at that these are all oh my nails look terrible because I've been digging in the dirt okay so forgive me um, look at that look at that thousands more thousands more so, well, I don't know about thousands, but hundreds for sure. So that's just coming from these three Manducas. Now I can tell you, today, three of the hornworms that I had grew so big. There's one right now. Look at him, him or her, look at that. He's looking for a place to bury right now. So um, I put three or four in here. Two of them have already gone into the substrate. I watered my plants first to make sure this, the substrate is dry enough. And they're going to just emerge on their own right into the flying container. That's why container. You know what I mean, the unit. Um, anyway, this has been really fantastic. I'm glad I cleaned everything out. Um, oh, look, there he goes. See, this is what he's doing. They're looking for a place to, to burrow. They had the line down their backs, and I wasn't going to feed them at this point to my reptiles, and so it was time to let them burrow and become Manduka moths. Now, this little Manduka moth is about on his or her last day. One of them has already crossed over, and there's another one still alive in here. So, oh. There it is, right there. So I'm still going to hand feed nectar to them because they're so weak, they can't really get into the nectar on the final day. You kind of get a feel for when they're going to go. And they've done their job. I always say a little prayer for them, thank them for their contribution. That's the way I am with, with everything, really. But you do what you want, but that's what I do. So anyway, um... It's an exciting time here, and uh, I'm so glad you're along for the ride. 
I can't wait to show you more and I promise to get back to questions as soon as possible. If you like what you see, please hit the thumbs up button. Um, I'm fairly new um, and I really love this. So I hope I can help you and um, you can save a lot of money breeding your own hornworms. Believe me, uh, they're not cheap. And when you get it down to a science, it's a lot of fun. So have a blessed day. Remember, God is great. And thank you for watching my channel. Thank you for subscribing. And thank you for hitting the thumbs up. Take care. See you soon.